Ending, Micha Baram is an iconic Israeli photojournalist. His career has spanned 60 years and his work has documented life in Israel since its inception. Joining us now is I-24 News culture correspondent Maya Margate. Hey Maya. Hey. So you're here to tell us all about Micha Baram. Um, yes. So he is one of Israel's most important photographers and that's partially because he put Israel on the map. He worked for international news agencies, he worked for Newsweek, Time, New York Times, all the different also French magazines as well and European magazines. Uh, so he's very iconic because he captured some of the most famous images of Israel throughout its history, especially in the year 1967, which is the subject of the exhibition at the, the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, and which is what I went to go and take a look at. So let's have a look at that report. He spent his life documenting Israeli history through a camera lens. Internationally acclaimed photographer Micha Baram, now 87 years old, started taking pictures in the 1940s, capturing some of the Jewish state's most dramatic turning points, including the Six-Day War. A new exhibition at the Israel Museum examines the year 1967 through the eyes and lens of one of Israel's most famous artists. When the whole country in early in spring 67 was in a tension, we went wherever we understood because war was imminent. Like many great photographers, Baram was at the right place at the right time. But it was not just one image that would bring Baram fame. Through his decades-long career, he shot hundreds of thousands of pictures, covering every aspect of life in Israel. We see really the genius of Micha as a photographer, as an artist, because he was waiting for him, he knew that it's going to be like a moment, but he captured Levi Eshkol with his fists covering his mouth and alluding to uh, the image, the public image of Levi Eshkol as hesitant, as not really uh, knowing how to talk about the war, how to make decisions. 1967 was also the year the photographer became a father and the year that catapulted Baram to fame. His now iconic war photos gracing the covers of the New York Times, Time, Newsweek and many more. This is the shot that he uh, took in the Golan Heights during the war. An Israeli soldier tries to imitate a propaganda poster, a Syrian propaganda poster that is just uh, behind him in a wall of a Syrian village that would be uh, destroyed uh, a day or two uh, later on. If your photographs aren't good enough, you weren't close enough. If you're too close, you lose perspective. This is what Baram said in response to fellow photographer Robert Kappa's famous saying, when capturing the horrors on the ground, every frame counts. And the aesthetics of war can be quite tricky. Everybody has their reasons why, why they go to wars. It is definitely a very attractive to be called into dramatic situations with a possibility to come back with dramatic images. Sometimes you realize that you do, you, you raise the camera in order to protect your eyes, not only to get the picture. But it was the moment that Israel captured the Western Wall, the holiest site in Judaism, that Baram would remember the most. The day in which the Israeli army, primarily paratroopers, but also other units, took the Jer Jer Jerusalem and primarily the Western Wall was very ele elevating, very exciting, and very emotional for even if you were not a religious person. It is also this instant he believes changed Israel forever. The merging of the military force and the re religious spirit and messianic uh, spirit. And uh, I think so this is a, an interesting point in the history and nothing is the same.
again since that moment. What a life this man has had. But it's exactly, important to yeah. mention he didn't only capture war. That's right. What's very interesting about the exhibition is that it shows that he captured the intimate side of life as well. He photographed his family, his child. His child was born in 1967, and the picture he took of his wife giving birth, his wife Orna, was one of the first pictures in Israel published of a woman giving birth. Wow. It was something that hadn't really been done so much in Israel in photography at the time. So he has this very nice balance of like the war images and the more intimate family life pictures, the images of every everyday Israeli life that are very touching, I and would say. And how did you find it was to meet this man who's had such an amazing career in life? He was one of the most interesting photographers and people I've ever met because this guy has literally witnessed all of Israeli history. He started photographing in the 1940s. So he's seen everything that's happened in the state. Uh, he doesn't photograph so much anymore, but he has an archive with half a million pictures in his basement that he showed us. Wow. And it, it would just be so interesting to go through all of those images and see everything that he was able to see. It's just fascinating. What an interesting person, Maya. Thanks so much for coming and telling us sure. about it.